today we are finishing up the B1290 Clinton. We're gonna put the breather in, put the ignition in, put the flywheel on, uh, governor arm and carburetor. Sounds like a lot, but actually it's not a whole lot. It's just a couple of things. It should go pretty quick. Uh, first up is the breather, pretty much standard stuff, just like a Kohler. There's actually a like a back pan piece that kind of goes in like this. Uh, there's a gasket, and then there's another gasket, and then the lid goes on top of that. We just want to make sure we situate it correctly with this little hole towards the bottom, so that way this little, there's like a little popper that goes back and forth with the changing pressure. Uh, if any oil or any oil really gets sucked up into this, it'll drain back into the lifter area it ultimately will go back down this big hole. Um, so it's really not that big of a deal. Screw it in, snug it down, we should be fine. Once I get that done, we'll go ahead and tear into the ignition. I have the ignition system completely field stripped. Uh, one thing about the armature on a Clinton is it actually houses this like aluminum piece that the points sit in. So I bent the tab up, slid the coil, out of the way i went ahead unbolted the points there's one screw that holds it right there and then the whole thing just slides out there's one screw right here uh, right there that holds the condenser in place the condenser wire did get bit by the flywheel at some point so i'm going to see if i have a new condenser i might not um, we may have to try to fix that wire or and just run it i pretty sure I have a new set of points downstairs. I'll see if I can find one of those. But first off, we're going to run this thing through the parts washer, clean it all up, get it good and clean. Next, I'm going to go ahead and clean the coil, test the coil. And then there looks like there's some down in the hole here where the spike is that goes into the ignition wire. There looks like there's some junk, so I'll clean that up. But I'll test it first to make sure that it is a good one. It does say Clinton right here on the top. So this is probably the original, uh, does it say, let me see here. Yep, it says Clinton. So this is obviously the original coil to the motor, which is kind of interesting. But as long as it's good, it's going back in. Got the uh, governor arm on, not a big deal. Just loose, this bolt, nut and bolt was loose. Slid it on, tighten it down so it bites onto the shaft so it doesn't come off. Uh, we'll get the link once we get the carburetor ready. For the ignition, cleaned the coil, tested the coil, it was fine. Re cleaned the armature, reinstalled it. Um, I did have a new condenser downstairs. I do not have a new set of points, so I'm gonna have to get these. But those are these are the same as a uh, H60 Tecumseh, so that, that shouldn't be that hard to find. Um, one thing is this little hold down bracket, which kind of goes like uh, like this, that's what holds the points uh, cover in place. Make sure you put that on before you reinstall the entire housing because you'll be taking it back off like I had to in order to get that on. Uh, this is the new uh, condenser wire. This is the opposing coil wire. Uh, the kill switch wire will be uh, installed on that also and snaked up through the back and out with the ignition wire. The ignition wire was cleaned for the most part, you know, got it all good and clean. It's uh, it's going to be just fine. I tested it to make sure it's okay. Got it shoved into the coil where the little spike is. Tested that, made sure that's okay. So really, the ignition is pretty much all done. Uh, I just need to set the points to 20 thousandths once I get them. And you can actually use this little lid, that that's the actual cover that goes right here. It actually is designed at 20 thousandths. Uh, let's see if you can, oh, it's at the other side. I think it's the other, yeah, right there. Um, it's set up for 20 thousandths, so that way you just use that little tab. It actually works quite well. Um, I'll use it, you know, to set the points, but we gotta get points. So let me go do that, and we'll be pretty much ready to put, to put the flywheel on. As I wait for the ignition parts or the points, I'm going to go ahead and set the carburetor up. We're going to convert this engine from the original LMG Walbro carburetor to a Carter N. I was given this particular carburetor and it's in real nice shape. So we're going to go ahead and set it up just like the standard Kohler book says. But there is one adjustment we're going to have to make. This 
at full idle, this particular throttle shaft's at like the 1230 position. The original uh, carburetor, it was more like in the 130 position. You can see like, so with this particular link, uh, this is the original uh, Clinton link, it, 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 it doesn't get to full throttle because, you know, this thing, because it's over this far, it, it doesn't swing out enough. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get the carburetor mounted with the link, go to full throttle. And this little screw right here, I'm going to have to loosen that up and just barely move this arm this you know toward this direction so that way we can get a little bit more rpm out of the motor now i got to be careful with this because these these are very temperamental these engines you mess around with the governor and then boom man this thing could go skyrocketing really quick so very very small inputs and if i need to i'll even make a couple adjustments once the engine is running or not running physically but as i'm breaking it in we'll get that uh, straightened out. So let's go ahead and get the carburetor together and mount it. The point set arrived and if you have an ignition system that looks like this, which is basically the B1290 ignition, it's called a Type 2. The Type 2 uses a Tecumseh point set, uh, specifically a Tecumseh 30547A, which I believe is for a H60 um, so this is it, this little, this little piece here slides into the base. Uh, the screw, which is right here, this is the mounting screw, uh, is also the adjustment screw. It goes right through that slot there, which ultimately screws right into there. The one thing you do need is this, which is the points cam. Now, this is what actually actuates the point set open and close. Unlike on a Kohler, which uses the, uh, the camshaft, or actually it should be like right here, the camshaft lobe, uh, a Clinton uses this little uh, points cam that goes slides onto the crank. Now, one side of it is kind of tapered or stepped, and the other side is just straight. The stepped side goes towards the uh, bearing plate, and this, this side, the straight side, kind of sticks straight out. One thing you got to do is check these for cracks. They do crack over the course of time. Um, this one happens to be okay, so we're just going to go ahead and slide that on. We get to a certain point. All right, doesn't want to go on. There it is. And you just slide it all the way back until it stops. So there is the points cam is in place. I'm going to go ahead and take the little rubber band off and mount the point. With the points cam lobe, uh, rotated to the point where the highest point of the lobe is pushing on the end or the plastic end of the points, you know that that is in the most, you know, open position. Just keep the screws uh, kind of snug and then just move the point, the, bait, the, the adjustable side of the points up and use your points cover, which is 20 thousandths. It's actually part of the deal with the points. You just Close it in until that fits with just a little bit of drag like that. Tighten down the screw, check it again, and that's it. Points are set. I'm going to go ahead and attach the coil wire, the condenser wire, as well as I'm going to go ahead and make the kill switch. And everything gets bolted right to this post at the base of the points. Everything is hooked up. We have all the wires hooked up, snug down the bolt. We have the kill wire running up and out where the ignition wire comes, so that's all set. I'm going to go ahead and put the points cover on, clip it into place. I'm going to get the flywheel, put the flywheel on, and the torque spec for the Clinton is 400 to 450 inch-pounds. Once they get all that together, I'm going to put all the clean the tins, put all the tins on, and let's get this thing on the engine stand and see what happens. Sorry guys, I uh, I thought I hit record and it didn't, it wasn't recording. But the uh, Clinton is up and running, sounds great, idles real nice and smooth. Everything seems to be real, real nice on this. I'll uh, go ahead and throttle it up real quick. Little 
little bit here. Of course, I don't have my screwdriver. So at a certain RPM that starts to hunt and pick, that's this carburation issue. But you can see that it's running really nice. This recoil, like the other Clinton I worked on, or the Kohler I worked on, it's jingling around in there. And so that, that needs to go. But I think that I think that is I think that's quite good. I'm gonna play around with the carburetor a little bit. So you put it right back down and Alright. Let me play around with that carburetor a little bit and I'm gonna let this thing run for like 20, 25 minutes and I will be back with you. So I messed around with the carburetor a little bit and let's go ahead and throttle it up again. It should not hunt and pick. So let's see what happens. There we go. We go right back down to idle. And I think I have to take a little, you know what, I am going to do that. I'm just going to take a little bit of more fuel out of the fast idle. Just a hair. Alright, let's see what happens. It shouldn't hunt and pick. Now there we go. Another small engine saved. I hope you enjoyed this video series, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We got another Clinton back to service. So if you could please like, share, and subscribe. And, and if you could click the bell so you know when one of my videos come up. The little rug carpet cut. A bunch of projects are coming up like that, as well as my senior. So please, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for spending time. And until we do the next project, you have a great day.